I think a lot of people take people in bigger bodies existing as them promoting a certain message when they are just trying to move through their day. But I guess and it's harder for them because of the wind resistance. <laughs> mm. So a lot of the content I make is about relationships with food. Mm -hmm. So myth busting around different diets mm. and my app is more the fitness stuff. You help women get rid of their jiggly bits. Uh, You're a fitness influencer, is that fair to say? Yeah. Would you call yourself an influencer? I don't reject it anymore. I think it maybe had negative connotations. I'm sort of reclaiming it. Much as the gay community famously reclaimed the, uh, the word batty crease. <laughs> <laughs> What's your app called again? It's called Knobs. 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 Yeah, now I've used this app. This is the one where you arrive in a new town that tells you where all the other gay guys are. I need to, I mean to thank you, actually. That's, um, that's how I met my birth father. Oh. Public toilet. Dad? We don't talk about weight loss. It's not about shrink your like waist and like grow your glutes. We don't really talk about bodies in that way. It's more about strength instead. Strength. Mm, like women feeling strong. I mean, anyone can do knobs up. Mm. We don't say it has even to be. The, a... Even the people who need a crane to get out of bed. Well, I mean... This will help you feel stronger, despite the fact we're using agricultural machinery to get you to the fucking toilet. What would you say to people who claim you're taking money away from hard-working liposuction surgeons? Uh, I mean, I would they say... They have families. They, Sleek. They do have families. families. So I do a lot of content around, rather than viewing things as food as good and bad, just sort of seeing foods as different you know yeah because life. we we have these ideas that like you know there's good food and bad food and that like mm. maybe thin people are good and fat people are bad but it's not it's not true you know i mean my friend big penny she's not you know she's not a bad person she's just unhappy because <laughs> she's so lonely yeah because people look at her jowls and they think god <laughs> she looks like a capybara for me, diet culture is the idea that particularly women, they had to shrink their bodies and change themselves in order to be a more valuable woman. Yeah, because the average woman isn't, isn't a size zero. No. She's a size 18. <laughs> Tinted glasses, single crutch, hobbling <laughs> after a bus. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Come back! Yeah. That is... Come back! Ah! That's the average woman. I mean, there are there are some women. Because thinness doesn't mean health. Yes. Sometimes it's AIDS. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and being fat doesn't make you unhealthy. Exactly. It just means your farts smell worse. <laughs> so this is something that I also talk about a lot. Really? <laughs> Not that uh, specifically body body size. It doesn't equate exactly to how healthy you are. The notion of being thin, meaning that you're more healthy, mm. is not true. And in the same breath, if you're in a bigger body, that doesn't mean that you are more unhealthy. No, it just means you'll die sooner. Mm. You have these tricks. Mm -hmm. You know, what's that trick like, oh, before you eat anything, I'll drink a glass of water to yeah. see if I was like actually just thirsty. I, I, I do that with other stuff in my life. Like, I, you know, whenever I get like, I feel like I need the toilet, like I get that pang. I get like a stack of biros in a rubber pen. I just like, shove, shove it up there. Sometimes it turns out I was just horny. <laughs> uh, listen up, you grotty little teenagers. You're watching filthy videos and then you think I can't handle the shame. Heroes and Heretics. Now there's proud sponsors of the show today. They are single cask, small batch whiskey makers. Every bottle is unique, but they all feel the same upside your ass. If you use the discount code FINTAILOR15 at checkout, you'll get 15% off. You might think, that's a rip-off. I want all of the bottles to go inside my ass. No, no, you misunderstand. It's about the money you pay. You pay less money. Heroes and Heretics, proud sponsors. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Juicy Fountain, Goosey Plantin, Moosey Shitstain.
Lucy Mountain. Boozy Dunblane. No. Tragedy. <laughs> With the good and bad food thing, I think there's a lot of shame as well around eating certain kinds of foods and people feeling like they can't enjoy, they can't enjoy um, different, different foods that they enjoy. Quite a toxic relationship some people have. It is a toxic, snacking. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. It, it can be quite toxic. <laughs> is that a pepper on? No. <laughs> So much of this is about language. It is, yeah. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to stop calling like puddings sinful. Yeah. I'm trying to stop calling meals like guilty. You know, trying to yeah. stop going. Look at these fat fucks. You know, when I see a couple of. George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at these fat fucks. So I, I've been developing some things that people can do if they feel like they're. A little bit overweight, they want to get rid of that belly fat. So this is this is the first one. Um, you know, uh, ankle weights. Strap ankle weights, biggest weights you can. Strap them onto your legs, and then you you just jump into uh, any deep body of water, and uh, uh, and because of the water resistance, you you definitely will die. Yeah. What is that? The that second sounds... the second one is. Um, uh, so this is something you can do with your partner. Is uh, you know those um like those rubber yoga bands. You know those sort of rubber bands, stretchy Resistance things. Resistance bands. Yeah, yeah. So you basically you just get one of those and then you just fucking put it around your neck and just tie it to the back of your car. And then she drives off and you just like go 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 go. And because of, like because of the amount the impact of the road, like you will die. Yeah. Eventually. And what is this? Sorry. Just just For... things that you can do if you're a little bit overweight. Oh okay. If you feel like you're a bit podgy around the middle, you want to make a change. Okay. I mean, slightly different to what I'm promoting. Because these definitely will work. Uh, I, m money back guarantee. Mm. I'm not paying you anything. Because they're dead. I don't like to use the word dead. It's about how strong they feel. <laughs> Let's do some kids jokes. You like um we get kids to write into the show. Um Danica age ten. What's the worst thing about having seven men piss in your eyes live on TikTok? There's no guarantee your followers will see it. Okay. Because of the algorithm. <laughs> That's true. Uh, you like riddles? Yeah, I do like We've riddles. We got a kid yeah. that keeps sending us riddles. What am I? We get in when we feel dirty. We get out when we feel clean. Sometimes there are bubbles. Wherever could I mean? Sometimes when you get in, you might choose to sing a song. You can get wrinkly fingers if you stay in me too long. What am I? The bath. No, it's old Mrs. Pinochle's disgusting grey puss. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that. 